Hey guys, welcome back to Second Kick Moto and Auto. Just a real quick video I'm going to do for you. I'm just doing a little maintenance on my bike and I'm actually going to change the stereo around to a four speaker system, but uh, didn't really want to get into a video today. I'm just trying to get some stuff done quick because I'm going riding tomorrow, but I did want to check on something and it turns out it is a problem, so I'm going to show you right now. So uh, I pulled my battery tray out because I wanted to look at these wires. Now this actually sits up in here but it's the wire from your stator and uh, this is a common problem on the honda shadow arrow i think especially uh, specifically the 1100s but i could be wrong on that um the plug is loose and what happens is it actually ends up uh shorting out and melting the wires down and melting this plug like i can't even get it apart it's so fused together now um, somebody had actually just put some tape around here to try and protect that a bit. I mean, obviously, there's a problem here. Now, you can go to Honda. Honda does sell a new plug for this because it is a problem. Um, now, me, I'm not waiting for uh, a Honda to open because I want to go riding. So I've actually gone and bought actual connectors with just heat shrink. Um, and I'm just going to get rid of this plug altogether, and uh, it'll be just a joined, heat shrunk together connection. Um, if you were worried about having to take that out and replace it, um, you know, you could buy the plugs and do it. Or like me, if I ever have to replace that, I'll just buy everything new and just change it all out at that point. But uh, something to look for, guys, because, uh, I mean, I haven't heard of one causing a fire, but I have heard of it actually making the bike shut off and not want to run because the wires either burnt off or the connections got so crummy that it's all of a sudden just stopped working and then your bike won't start and you could be stranded somewhere so uh something to check like i say that wire does feed up this is the wire here and it actually sits right here so uh just wanted to bring that to your attention there is a few other videos out there on this but uh, i thought i'd make my own just to show you Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. I will come back and I will show you when I've got the connection changed out. And there you have it. That's uh, three new connectors. And I've put a little heat to them just to shrink the uh, shrink wrap down a little bit. Probably not necessary. It's uh, up out of the way as long as your wire is insulated properly. Um, this is the old plug. Like that's pretty gnarly. Um, this is the side that goes in, and this is the side from the stator. Um, yeah, this is uh, a quick, easy way. And I actually cut one on one side and the corresponding on other each time and put a connector in between until the plug was out of the way. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. I didn't read up to see if, you know, they're not really color-coded, but I didn't want to chance it. So that's it, guys. That's... Uh, seven dollar fix and uh it's a lot uh, easier than waiting for a part to come from honda if you don't plan on taking this off anytime soon because like i say when it comes down to actually changing that out you're going to get a, a connector with a new end on it anyways so uh there you have it just a quick video guys just to show you a common problem with these bikes um that should hopefully fix everything up and keep the bike going down the road for a long time more okay if this has helped you, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already and want to see more of my content, please do subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.